Hey guys, so for today's video, we're gonna do something a little fun and different. I'm partnering with Lethal Cosmetics on this video and I created my own little 12 pan custom palette on their website. So I created my dream kind of deep fall smoky vibes palette using their website. And I love what I came up with. Spoiler alert, it is on my eyes right now. So in this video, we're gonna go through this whole eyeshadow palette designing process together. We're gonna rewind a little bit and I'm gonna show you the whole shade selection process, how I picked the colors that I wanted, the layout and all that good stuff. The whole process in this video was super fun to do, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you wanna create your own eyeshadow palette on Lethal Cosmetics website, you can use the code Angela Bright to save 20%. All right, let's go back to the eyeshadow picking process and then I will show you my palette and how I created this eye look. All right, let's head to lethalcosmetics.com and create an eyeshadow palette. So excited to do this. So let's see here. I'm gonna go to palette designer. Ooh, I'm so excited. As you can see here on the right, they have all the different palettes. And if you kind of hover over anything, it tells you like how many pans it has. So I'm gonna create a 12 pan palette. This one's kind of like an empty Z palette. I kind of like, I think I like this one. I like when the pans are kind of separated so they're not like touching. Um, but you can also change the palette after you design it. So I'm not like stuck with this right now, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna stick with this design. This is the Gridlock Magnetic Customizable Palette for 12 eyeshadows. Perfect. Now let's get into the fun part. Look at all these eyeshadows they have. I believe they have over a hundred eyeshadows. So like, oh my gosh, and these are so pretty. You can sort them and organize them because I feel like it would be so hard to find shadows this way. So there's a couple ways you could sort. I really liked this way. You can do it by color. So if you wanted to create like just one color story, like, oh my gosh, this is so satisfying all your yellows, your greens together, goes into blue, go into purple. Like this is, this is just beautiful looking like that. Much easier to kind of figure out what you want. They also have light to dark. So maybe if you were like finishing up your palette, want to grab like a highlight shade, I would probably go this way. So that's really nice too. And with the black, perfect. And then they did have a filter option. So you could do by neutrals, cool tones, warm tones, the finish, like there's, so many options here if you kind of know what you want. But I think for me, I'm gonna go by color because I wanna do like a fall vibes eyeshadow palette, kind of jewel tones, lots of warmth and depth. Like, oh, I'm so excited. So I'm actually gonna switch to this bigger palette. This one can fit 24 eyeshadows and I'm just gonna kind of throw the shadows I like in there and then sort through them and pick my 12 that I'm gonna end with. They're really easy to add. You can just like literally just click it and it's in your palette or you can like, drag and drop to a certain spot. I actually don't want that one. All right, this speaks to me. This speaks to me. It's nice too, because if I keep my mouth just over it, it says like, this is a champagne with a sparkling metallic finish. Good to know. Like what would be the difference between this shade and that shade? This one's a taupe. So, so I really like the shade descriptions. I think that's really helpful. Okay, for fall vibes. Yes, yes. I mean, you probably need like a blending shade. So I'm just gonna throw that in the air. Oh, these greens. I'm just gonna throw the black in there for now. Let's see. Oh, I like this. I like this. Love that. Let's do that. Ooh. Oh, this like whole bottom row. Give me all of those. Whew. All right, we got work to do now. Okay, I need more like depth in my palette. So maybe I will add Black and teal with bright green highlights. Yes, please. I wish, is there a way to see? Yes, there's our swatches. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, Aether is that third one. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, I love that they have swatches included. That's super helpful. And with like similar colors, so you can kind of see them together. Okay, also, what is this? Charcoal with a metallic finish, sure. Slate gray to blue violet duochrome with a sparkling metallic finish. Yes, please. This is a palette. <laughs> this is a lot of shades right here that now I need to narrow it down to 12. How am I gonna narrow this down to 12 shades? This is tough. Okay, automatically, I don't love this. This is too bright. So with these purples, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one a little too bright for me right now. I'm really trying to go like deep with this guy. Like these three shades right here would make like such a beautiful look. 
Let me try to organize these into like color families. Move that. Okay. I'm not a big pink, so I'm gonna take out this one. Cause I think this limo shade will be a really good like highlight color. And then this rose gold one for like a good lid color. Let's keep those two for now. I'm gonna kinda like scoot them out of the way. Okay, I probably don't need a black. Like, I don't need another black eyeshadow. Let's get rid of that. I could honestly do this for hours and just sit here and create a freaking eyeshadow palette. What if we just make this like dark and smoky? I'm kind of scooting these over and I'm using like this bit to make my palette. Going back to, let's do dark to light. Cause I think I want like smoky, what about this? Berry with metallic finish, that would, ooh. <laughs> okay. This orange one's just throwing me off. Don't need her. Hmm. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm liking these vibes right here. What else does it need? I think that's too, that's too warm. Can't I filter by cool tones? Oh, wait, 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 is this cool tones? Perfect, okay, let's try this. Is that what I'm going for, cool tones? Kinda, what's this? I honestly just like love these eight shades right here, but I already have most of them in my palette, just kind of accept these green ones and this brighter blue. Okay, so I've decided we're going cool toned. <laughs> okay, we're narrowing it down, this is good. So far I got one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers, six mattes. So that's not bad. Are these two too similar? Deep brown with red undertones, deep brown with maroon undertones. Do I need both of them? I am picturing so many looks in my head right now with this palette. Like I'm like, oh, these four would go well together. Like these would go well together. Maybe I do need both of those because this one will go good with like the purple shades and this blue one. Okay, I'm gonna rearrange this. We've got a highlight shade. We got a pretty rose gold shade for the lid. We have a taupe shade. If you want to do something taupey, we got a good kind of transition shade. The mauve with red undertones. Is that, okay. Do I want this shade or this shade? That's what I'm struggling with. Medium deep brown with wine. Yeah, that just sounds beautiful. Then we got a deep, rich brown. Then we have kind of a maroon brown. Then we go into purple. Then we go into deep blue. Then we got these gorgeous shimmers. I think this might be it. So I'm gonna delete these shades that I know are not gonna be my palette because once I switch it back to the 12 pan, it would like erase what I did. Perfect, okay, okay. Ooh, this looks pretty. Okay, now I get to arrange the shadows. Personally, I love having a highlight shade in the top left corner. That's just the way to go. And I like having the darkest corner at like the bottom right. Like that's just how you do it. Like I don't make the rules here. I like these four shades next to each other like that. That makes my soul happy. This one just feels kind of out of place. Mauve with red undertones. Like why are you here? I think it might be a little too warm. Can we filter the color again? But I think I like this better. It's more... What is Cerise? Oh, I like that better. Look at that. There we go. And that will look perfect with this shimmer shade. Okay, I feel that one little change made so much of a difference. Okay, now the last shade throwing me off is this brown, the Corrigan. Deep brown with red undertones and a matte finish. I feel like I could do better than this. What about another duochrome moment? I keep looking at this shade though, this synth. Lavender to blue mint duochrome. Would that be crazy? No, okay. I think the taupe has got to go. Let's rearrange this. Six shimmer, six mattes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this one's a duochrome. I said I wanted a duochrome. I think I like this. I just feel like these two look so similar. What is this? charred wood with matte finish. Is that the problem? Like that one's just too warm, so I need to... <laughs> this might be it. I could just sit here all day and make eyeshadow palettes for you guys. How fun is this? 
all right i feel good i feel excited about these tones of this palette and just like the jewel tones the purpley grays it's so pretty all right now let's order this palette and i'll be back in like a week or so to film a tutorial with it i'm so excited to like have it in my hands all right i'm back and i got my palette in the mail let's do a little unboxing all right so it comes like this too. Got a little thank you for your purchase card. And then we have the actual empty palette and then all the shadows are here. Looks like they're all single shadows. I'm gonna unwrap this really quick. I feel like I spent so much time on the website like getting my layout of the palette correctly and now I realize it doesn't really matter because I could do it any way that I want now. So I should have figured that out when I was making it, but that's fine. And then here is the empty palette. It just says Lethal Cosmetics on it. And it has a little mirror. That's nice. And all the spots for my shadows. Here's what the single shadow looks like. It comes in this little packaging, nice and thin. Okay, so I'm gonna unwrap all these shadows, kind of stick them in the palette kind of randomly, do some swatches, and then do an eye look. Be right back. Let's start with some swatches. Also, all the shade names are on the back of the eyeshadow, so that's perfect. This is Limbo. Kind of like my highlight shade. This is Acolyte. This is Archetype. This is Rebirth. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Cascade. Unity. This is Synth, my duochrome shade. I was so excited about. Oh my gosh, I love that. This is Rise from the Ashes. Oh, that's stunning. This is Stargaze. Oh my gosh. This is Deceit. I didn't swatch as well as I wanted it to. This is Trespass. And lastly, Nocturnal. And here's my eyeshadow palette I created. So cool. All of Lethal Cosmetics products are vegan and cruelty free. I feel like I'm most excited about like these two shades right here. Probably with some berry tones. Like I'm so excited to play with these. Let me show you what my palette looks like. All right, here's what my palette looks like. This might not be the exact layout I had on the website, but that's totally fine because you can mix and match and move these around. There's little holes in the back of the palette, so you just take like a little needle, pop it through the hole, and the shadow will pop out. Let's play with these eyeshadows and get started. So I prime my eyes with the Rare Beauty Eye Primer, and I set that with a translucent powder. I'm going to start with Archetype on a Sigma E25, and this is going to be my transition shade. Now I'm gonna take Cascade on the same brush and I'm gonna place that on the outer half of my lid, just kind of dusting this on and then into my outer crease as well. These matte shades are so pigmented so far. Now I'm gonna switch to a Sigma E33 in the shade Unity, and I'm gonna use this to deepen up the outer crease even more. Then I'm gonna go back to my E25 and use that to soften and blend even more. So I'm having a little bit of patchiness right here, but I think that's my eye primer, not the shadow, because it's not happening on this eye. So usually that means I just like didn't set the primer with enough powder, so it's kind of sticking in some places, but that's okay, we'll keep going. Now I'm gonna take a Sigma E58 in my gorgeous duochrome shade Synth, and I'm using my brush dry at first. All right, let's go on the inner part of the lid. That's applying pretty well for being dry. Now I'm gonna try wetting the brush with some setting spray. There we go. And it applies even better with your finger. I love this color. I'm gonna take a Sigma E27 and just softly blend around that duochrome. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of rebirth on my finger. And I'm gonna place that right where this duochrome is meeting the matte shade, so right on like the outer three quarters of my eye. I 
think I want to do a wing with this look, so I'm going to take the Makeup by Mario Liquid Eyeliner. I feel like those wings look pretty good. I'm gonna go do my face makeup off camera and then we'll finish up the eyes together. All right, my face makeup is on. Let's finish up these eyeballs. I'm gonna take Stargaze on the tip of a Sigma E20, but I am gonna spray my brush first. And I'm gonna place this shade along my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna place a black pencil in my waterline. This one is again by Makeup by Mario. Now I'm gonna take Nocturnal on my E20 and I'm just gonna smudge that along the base of my lower lashes. Now I'm gonna take a Sigma E42 with that transition shade I used and I'm just gonna very lightly soften the lower part of my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of my duochrome shade on my finger. I'm gonna place this on the inner part of my lower lash line. So right in here, just for a little pop. Last step, I'm gonna take Limbo on a Sigma LO4 and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and a little bit under my brow. I definitely put a lot of shimmers on my eyes today, but I'm gonna pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'll show you the full face. All right, here is a final close-up of the eyes. I popped on my lashes. I'm wearing my bright lashes in the style Lush. All right, and here's the full face all done. For my blush, I'm wearing the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Powder Blush in Creamy Peach. Realize I'm wearing a lot of Makeup by Mario today. Not planned. And then on my lips, I'm wearing the Huda Beauty Lipstick in Buttercup, such a pretty nude. And then the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream in Fenty Glow on top. I love how this makeup look turned out. These eyes are so gorgeous. They gave me such like galaxy vibes. Favorite shade that I got was definitely that duochrome one. I have that on the top lid and on my lower lash line. How many shades I used today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. I used eight out of my 12 shades. The only ones I didn't use are this matte blue, this kind of matte brown, the kind of gunmetal gray one, and then this rose gold one up here. I was really happy and impressed with the quality of the formulas. Everything blended great. The shimmers, the metallics are gorgeous. And I feel like I just did a pretty good job picking my shades. So the whole experience of creating the eyeshadow palette on Lethal Cosmetics website was so easy. It was so fun to do just to pick out all your shades and play around with different kind of color layouts. The shades that I got looked exactly like what I saw online. So there was no like shocks there and I'm just super happy overall with my experience here with Lethal Cosmetics. So if you want to create your own palette with Lethal Cosmetics you can use the code Angela Bright to save 20% and my code will be active until October 31st. Their shipping to the U.S. is $8.99 and they also offer three-day express shipping. All right and that's going to be everything for me today so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.